Time to talk business. Nick Bontis from the DeGroote School of Business is here with Bontis on Business. Nice to see you again, Nick. Uh, talking this week about inflation, it's fallen just below 2%. Do you think this is just sort of a lull or is this, a, or is this a, it's very volatile, so is this temporary or what? It's okay. Yeah. And let me also specify one thing. Just because inflation falls, it doesn't mean that prices actually fell. It just okay. means that inflation was lower than it used to be. So if something used to cost 100 bucks, instead of costing 102, it still costs 101, which means prices are still going up. So gas prices are all, all over the place, we know that. But it was actually food prices that actually caused this metric to go down. In fact, fresh vegetables were down 16% from last year. And I also heard that part of the basket, video equipment, so this is cameras, digital cameras, film, that was down 14%. So with regards to cheaper fresh vegetables, my mama always said, eat my vegetables, so they're cheaper now. So that is yeah. good to see, yeah, because it does get a little pricey at the uh, grocery <laughs> store right. lineups these days. Let's talk a little bit about a story. Speaking of vegetables and fruit growing, uh, we had a story about immigrant workers and the program uh, maybe sort of going away because the government wants healthy, employable Canadians to be doing this. Why is this story or why has this issue become a hot topic all of a sudden? You know what, this is a very, very sensitive topic, Nick, mm -hmm. because people are complaining that there's not enough jobs. The problem is there are jobs, it's just the jobs that people don't want to do. Frankly, in my opinion, there's two types of people out of work. There's the unemployed and there's the unemployable. And I'll talk about those two types of different people separately. Unemployed, I sympathize with you. You're out of a job, you may have gotten laid off, it's a bad economy, I get it. The unemployable, that's a different category because these are the types of individuals that are late, they arrive late, they leave early, they're not trusted, they're not loyal, and these are the types of people that don't want to do these jobs. So frankly, for that category of people, and it may be a subset, because I know, for example, in the fast food service, sometimes you gotta hire 12 people for a shift, knowing only 10 are gonna show up. So in this particular case, you know what? If there is a potato farmer in Beamsville who's offering 11 bucks an hour, you should go after that job. And if you don't want that job, you know what? You shouldn't have access to EI, in my opinion, Nick. All right, some strong words there. Thank <laughs> you, Nick. Let's talk about RIM. I know yeah. it's uh, sort of a company we've been talking about a lot over the last few years. Success story now it's sort of on its <laughs> way down. But we understand it's talking to JP Morgan about uh, you know potentially some strategy options. Is this the beginning of the end for Research in Motion as we know it? So I don't think it's the beginning of the end, but I think it's the beginning of a new beginning. So okay. let me explain what I mean. JP Morgan, of course, is an investor bank there's only four reasons why any company is going to hire an investment bank number one you're going to sell your business number two you're going to sell part of your business number three you're going to buy a business or number four you're going to buy part of a business now with regards to number three and four I don't think RIM is in the position to do any purchasing so let's go back to one and two which is selling part of the business that's what I think it's going to be for frankly RIM right now has got two lines of business the software business and the hardware business we all know the story about hardware the fact that Samsung and iPhone and others are moving ahead it it could be that JP Morgan is setting up to sell part of the hardware business. They're going to keep the software, of course, because that's their bread and butter. That's where they make all their cash. Really quickly, because we're running out of time. Yeah. Speaking of hardware, Porsche Design Blackberry. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this? Cool smartphone. Mm -hmm. Looks awesome. Don't know anything about it because I've never used it before. Rim, how about you send two, one for Nick and one for Nick, and we'll test and review it ourselves. Sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> I think a lot of people will put their hands up for that. Nick, thanks for your insight this week. Right. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Nick,